Hi, I'm Pedro. And I'm Kevin. And we're back today to talk about chords. So the other day we can saw a bunch of major and minor chords. Let's start today with uh, all the major chords. I think it's cool. A. B. C. As you may notice, the D chord is played in only four strings. This may be tricky at first because you have to strum with your hand or pick hitting just these four strings and avoiding the E and the A strings. Our tip for this chord will be to try and play just the three first strings. So when you essentially hit other string, it may be just the fourth. Or another tip would be Put your thumb over the 5th string and play with the rest of the fingers. Other chords like A, B and C are played in just 5 strings. For example, the C chord you can play 6 or 5 as you want is most more common to see just five strings and the way to play this chord so you don't have to worry about if you play the low E string or not is to mute it for example for the C and A chord what people used to do is place the thumb up here and touch the, the string barely touch it to mute it And for the B, for example, you can do the same with your index. This B is what we call a bear chord, because the index is playing all the strings of the second fret. But we will talk more about bear chords later on. Now that you know major chords, minor chords are just tiny variations of them. For example, for the A chord, just move your finger, one fret, and there you go, A minor. And this applies to B chord, B minor, D chord, D minor, E, E minor, etc. And now that you know tons of chords, it's time to start practicing. Pick some chords, two, three or four of them and start playing strumming. We will show you a lot of strums, but I recommend you to start with the basic. Pick up a chord, for example a C chord, and play down, 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 very slowly. And focus on change between chords, for example C to A minor or A minor to E minor pick up some chords you want but easy ones and the important thing is never lose the rhythm uh, it's more important to keep the rhythm than to make a clean change because that what music is about rhythm if you lose the rhythm that's it game over Once you feel comfortable playing simple chords, and this may take a while, take it easy, it's time to reach the second level and talk about bare chords like the B and F. And why are these chords so special that we need to talk about them? Well, first of all, because for other chords you just need to press hard with your fingertips, but bare chords force you to press 5 or 6 strings just with your index finger, and that ain't easy when you start to play. And second, if you realize when I play chords such as C, A, D, G, E, etc., my hand and my arm are, are almost static. But when I play a bare chord, I have to move my whole arm. 
and this is because I need my thumb to reach the back of the guitar. And this way the thumb is helping me to reach that extra effort I need to bear with my index. And this is why it takes so long for beginners to feel comfortable playing bare chords. Not just because it's harder to change to a bare chord, but also your fingers need to gain some strength. If you have problems playing chords, my only advice will be don't try hard too much. Don't get frustrated. There are a lot of exercises to speed up the process, but it takes time. Uh, if you keep playing and practicing, even if you don't do any of those uh, exercises, you will be able to play those chords someday. We can assure you that. And now that you know bare chords, it's time to start moving through the neck of the guitar. And don't stay in the first three frets or four. The only thing you need to know to do that is that each fret of the guitar is one semitone. And what the hell means that? Means that if you play an F chord and you move it one fret, you are moving the chord one semitone and you'll be playing a F sharp or G flat. They are not the same in musical theory, but as a beginner you don't have to worry too much about that. And if you keep moving, you get F, F sharp, G. This is a G major, just like this. Then G sharp or A flat, A, etc. In fact, if you realize, the F chord is comes from the E chord where the open strings are like the index bearing the open strings and move it one fret you get the F because the E chord jumps directly to F there's no such thing as an E sharp this only happens with the E and B strings the rest got sharps and flats etc. So if you move the E major chord you get E, F, F sharp as we have seen and you can do the same with all the chords. For example take A minor and with this you get A sharp minor, B minor, C minor etc. or do it with the uh, E minor and you got F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, etc. And before finishing, let's see another kind of chord, the seventh chord. So you start entering in this world of infinite chords you can play in the guitar. Major, minor and seventh chords are the most useful to play. There are several types of seven, major seventh, minor seventh, diminished seventh, etc. But we just will see the dominant sevens, usually call it just seven and the minor ones, as the others need more basic knowledge and I will teach the dominance to you in a simple way because there is a lot of theory behind chords that we won't touch. <clears throat> By the way, minor ones are constructed in a similar way that dominance, as minor seventh is like a dominant seventh of a minor chord. One peculiarity is that it seems that when the ear hears a seventh chord, expect it soon a change to another chord as this brings a feeling of stress. For example, A. <laughs> Seven. Seems like we need to put uh, other chord right there, for example, a D chord, so... Or E. Feel the tension, and we will put there an A chord. So let's see the rest of dominant seventh. A. A7 We can play it also B Sorry B7 Or, for example C C7 D D7 
G G7 For minor chords we have the minor 7th As I said before, they are constructed as dominant 7th from the minor chord For example, A minor A minor 7th We can see an analog, analog to E7 Okay? A minor A minor 7th Etc. And that was it for today. If you got any question about what you have just seen, feel free to ask us in YouTube, Facebook, whatever you want. Mm -hmm.